Hello everyone and welcome to episode 1 of season 4 of this Hales Iron Town save. Uh, I've played one league game this season, which I'll show you everything what happened in that. Uh, but we start off this season against Starbridge, the arch rivals. So I thought we'd miss the first game and come back to this one. So I think you all might agree with me that was the right choice. So first things first before we have a look at everything, oh just let you know we're in the Vanarama National League North. So not in the South, we're in the North. Uh, so yeah, I'll quickly show you some of the signings we've made. We'll start off with the outgoings. First one out was Dominic Cornes, he's gone to Boreham Wood. Then Harvey Smith left to go to Harrogate Town. I think it's Harrogate Town. I'm, I'm saying Harrogate Town. Yes, Harrogate Town. We let Josh Woodcock go on a free and he's gone to Slough. Jordan Barnett's gone to Ashton United on a free transfer. Luke Hurst, contract expired, and now he's gone to Boston United in the same league as us. Alex Woolerton, his contract ran out, and he's still a free agent, but might be going to Matlock Town. Joel Whittingham was released as well, and he's still yet to find a club. And Kian Williams as well was also released. The first player through the door, though, was Lewis Lowndes. He was a Chelsea youngster who spent a good few two years there. He's a regen, and I think he was a pretty solid pickup. To be honest, I don't think he'll improve massively, but for a free transfer, I think he was a bit better than the options we had at right back. So I was happy to bring him in. Then the next one through the door is pretty much exactly the same situation as Lowndes is Marcus Adams, but this time he's on the left hand side. This is a big transfer for us. Shay Dunkley was released by Wigan and we managed to pick him up on a free transfer for just £350 a week. And as you can see, his absolute class is a powerful centre back, six foot two, technicals are class, mentals are superb as well, and physically he's still just about got it, even though I think the pace will start to drop for him. But he's a very, very solid pickup for us. Next one through the door is another young left back called Daniel Hopkins. I might have brought in maybe a little bit too much excitement out of it uh, free transfer so we didn't have to pay anything for him but i just don't think he's going to get any game time i'll put him on to be loan uh look to try and loan him out see if we can get him some game time somewhere but i think i'm i think i dropped the ball on this one but the reason why i dropped the ball in because i did i saw him as a free agent and I thought, we've got to get this lad in because he is class. Technical, superb. Mentals are very good for this level. And physicals is, is pretty physically good as well for this level. So I'm very happy to pick up Josh Doherty on a free transfer. We've also signed Nico Gordon, a 20-year-old, released by Birmingham City. And again, he's a very good player for the level we're at. Physically very good. 5'11", unfortunately, but... Mentals are pretty strong for the level we're at, and I think it's got plenty of scope to improve, and technically it looks very solid as well, so I think he's a very good centre-back to bring in. And this guy, Alfie Anderson, we've brought in as well, another free transfer, I think he was released by Reading, no he wasn't, he was released by Salisbury, sorry, and yeah, I thought he was a pretty sensible player to bring in, because he kind of fits all the tactics we're going to play, so we've got three separate tactics this season. And he kind of fits the mould for all of them. So I'm very happy to bring him in because of his versatility. And I think he's generally a decent player as well. He can cross, he can dribble, he can finish. And he can also header as well. He's alright at passing. So he's got fits all those attributes that we need to be quite versatile for us. Next guy brought in was Matt Healy. Don't look at the star rate and I think it's not great for him for some reason. He's a 19 year old, capped at under 19 level. And personally I think he's a solid player. In the midfield attack role, he's technically better than Robson and Carvalho as well. But yeah, I, I think he's a very good player. Don't wrong, will he be around long term? I'm not sure because of the lack of pace potentially. But I think some for this season and an added squad player with all the different positions we'll need covering this season if we change formation a lot, I think he's a very good player to bring in. Next one through the door is Ted Collins. He was a free, well, is the backup goalkeeper. I think that's all I can really say about him. And the last signing is a chap called Tom Fellow, signed from the Albion. Well, he's a free agent from the Albion. And when you want, if you want somebody to score your goals, you kind of look at him and think, I think he should score us a few goals this season. He's a poacher, really, but he can still play well as an advanced forward or as a pressing forward, which is the main striking roles we're going to apply. But then again, we could always chuck in a poacher and he should be able to go in there and fill in that job brilliantly. So yeah, I'm very happy to pick him up. So yeah, 
no out, uh, no money going out, no money coming in, and yeah, it's as simple as that really. We have put an offer in for oh, we have put an offer in for somebody on loan. We did try bringing him in on free transfer, but he turned us down. But I think he is available to sign on loan. And he's only got one year deal. Where is he? Here he is. He's from. He went to Mill, turned us down, even though we offered him more money. Ibrahim Bakar, a Nigerian, twenty-year-old, six foot. Physically, he's an absolute beast. Mentally, he's very strong as well, and technically as well for our level, is decent. So we're trying to see if we can bring him in. He's only got one year left on the deal, which he's only just signed. So hopefully, come around January time, we might be able to offer him a contract. And I just think this guy, he has a lot of potential to become a really good player, hopefully for the next few seasons with us. And I think training with somebody like Shay Dunkley, I think he will develop a lot. But yeah, let's have a look at the match that you've missed. We played Gateshead, and as you can see, we lost 2-1. But it wasn't the whole story. As you can see, they scored in the 86th and 91st minute to win the game, which is obviously good in itself. But then you look at the stats, we had 20 shots, 11 on target, only scored the one goal. Bell having a fantastic game. I think he might have got... Oh, no, Anderson got man on the match on Gooch. But they had only had five shots, and they pretty much all came right at the end of the game where they scored the goals. I put my hand up, though. I think it was my fault. I left it as a 4-3-3 attack, trying to get that second one. And I probably should have gone a bit more defensive, gone to the counter tactic, which I'll show you now. So, yeah, that was kind of on me, I think. Uh, also, I, have, I haven't started the game, but I kind of went into it because I thought I'd press record and I didn't press record. So I just, if you're wondering why that's there. But yeah, the tactics I've gone with, I can't change in mid-game, unfortunately. But today's game, we've gone a 4-3-3. We're going to stick with it again, hopefully score some goals. But we're going to start off with Oluwemi in goal. Kessler, Dunkley, uh, Dunkley sorry, Gordon and Doherty in the back four. Robson, Ince and Carvalho, because Brookwell's in, uh, suspended at the moment, so Ince starts. Then we've got Fellows, Hall and Hardy up front. On the bench we've got Lowndes, Adams, Healy, Anderson and Monaghan. I can never say it. Monaghan. I want to try and see if we can loan out Monaghan, but there's no real bites at the moment, which is a bit of a shame. Because uh, I think playing pretty much every game, of every, uh, every game of this season will help him develop, no matter what level he's at. I think that's kind of what he needs as a full season, just to go and score goals. And we'll keep uh, Bradbury on the bench or something. Just that, you know, those extra options. I'm still looking at a few players. Uh, I do think we need one more position mainly, and that's a centre midfielder to make this complete. I've got a few players I've got my eyes on at the moment, just trying to convince them to come and join us, which I might not be able to do. So I've still got to have my eyes open to see if I can pick up some good players. But anyway, let's go straight into the game. So yeah, I told you we didn't go into it, but we're away at Starbridge today at the War Memorial Stadium. Hopefully, we can bounce back. Because, like I said, we played well in the last game. Or we'll to take the free kick. Ball in. Fellows over the bar. Oh, with his good header and ability, you'd like to think he would have stuck that in the back of the net. Especially with it being 6-1 as well. So, you know he can jump that high to reach it. Well, at least get his head on it. But, so far, so good. We're doing okay. We've had the first highlight. Doherty to Hardy. Back to Doherty. Cross blot. Are we going to get there first? We do. Gordon now. Plays the ball at the top, fellows at the header. It falls to Ince. Ince out wide to Kessler. Come on, Kessler. Can we get the ball in? He does. Fellows. Back to Hall. Blocked. Oh, it's cleared away. Close there to opening the scoring. Needs to be a little bit more clinical with some of these chances. Sergil plays it back to Lloyd. Now for Starbridge as they come forward. Brunt plays it back to Sergil. Lloyd. They're moving around quite nicely at Starbridge, but hopefully we can win the ball back. But Kessler gets to the ball first, which is good. Dunkley plays it forward. Hall now on it. Can he make anything happen? He gets tackled, but wins it back. Hall breaking through. One on one shoots. Oh, what a strike, Connor Hall. And it's 1 0. We're 1 0 up in the derby. Connor Hall with a goal, second of the season. And I think he's well on his way again to be challenging for top goal scorer of this season. But there's another highlight straight away. Lloyd now, but gets tackled by Kessler. Fellows flicks onto Hall. Hall bursts past his man. Hall still going. Can he put it across? Good save, Hardy, and it's 2-0. Joe Hardy gets his goal, and just like that, we are 2-0 up against Starbridge. And, yeah, could the Classico be, well, El Busico, sorry, be done and dusted already. So Hall gets past his man as a shot. Good save by the keeper, to be fair. But Hardy, first to react with the header, 
and it's in the back of the net. Come on. So we're approaching the 30 minute mark. It's a free kick, all to take. Will he whip it over the wall? He does, and it's a good save by Davison Hale. He had, to, he had to get there, or it was going in. Carvalho, good catch there by Davison Hale. I need to have a look at these uh, set piece routines. Well, set piece takers. I forgot to change it this season so far. Who oh, with that free header. And it's over the bar. He's got to do a bit better with that, I reckon. But it's still Hale's own at the moment. Carvalho back to Doherty. Doherty gets past his man. Plays back to Carvalho. Shot blocked. And Starbridge play it clear. And they're still on the ball. Starbridge can win it back. Oh, it's blocked to the clearances. Hardy now gets past his man. Hardy. Oh, hits the post. It should have been free. This game should be done and dusted, but it isn't yet. They're still in with a chance of Starbridge. And we've dominated the game. They've just had the one shot. I'm not going to give him any praise yet. But Max Robson's injured. Do we know it is yet? Potential foot injury, so that might not be great. But Matt Healy is a very good player. He played in the last game. Didn't have his best game. I suppose it's his first uh, game for us. Well, professional game for us. Not friendlies. But here they come now. Sergil. Ball in. Headed away by Doty. Can we get there first? Doty is still chasing it. Lyndon Foster. Brunt now. Lyndon Foster plays it out wide. No one's tr trying to run with Davis. And it's a good block there by... I think it's Nico Gordon. Good defending there to stop what possibly could have been a goal for Starbridge. Ball whipped in. Headed away by Dunkley. Brunt on it. Can we win the ball back? Carter. Carvello with a good tackle. Plays it forward to Hull. And here comes the counter-attack now for us, and it, we lose out of possession there. As we, we're fast approaching half-time now. We're up to ninth in the league, which is obviously very good for us, because we need to claw it back a bit. And I'm pleased with the performance so far. I am. We're playing well. Oh, that was Healy, okay. For a second, I thought that was the right back. The left back, sorry. But yeah, going into the second half now, hopefully more of the same. Get a couple of goals, and I'll be well happy with that. I can't make another sub in midfield. Which is a shame with all the yellow cards we've got. I'll give the team some praise. We're 2 0 up after all. I'm going to make a sub though. Who's tired? Kessler's a bit tired. But I'm going to take Fellows off. I'm going to put Alfie Anderson on because I want to give him some game time up front. And now, if I do need to make any changes uh, to make it a bit more secure for us, various guys will naturally drop back into the winger's position. That's what I wanted really to be able to do that. And I might make a change at the back potentially at some point. Okay, we'll still keep it going. Highlight now. Doherty to Hardy. Doherty. Crossfield ball. And it's Healy on it. Can he feed it through? Oh, it's a terrible tackle there in the derby. Looks like Lloyd might be giving his marching orders. And he is. Danny Lloyd is off. And that should hopefully see the game out for us. I'm going to look to change the formation now. We'll go to the defensive one. Which is, this is the defensive formation. Uh, we've got... Still got the back four. It's a 4-3-3. Three, three. Cautious, direct counter-attacking football. Hopefully we can just see everything out. And the other tactic as well, by the way, is the 4-4-2 we used last season still. So we've still got that around. Uh, and do can we make one more sub? Hmm. Who's having a, not a great game who's tired who isn't a midfielder? And I've got a lot of pro, I got a lot of criteria. Basically it's one of the fullbacks. Or a striker. But I don't want to take Hall off. Hall's great. Uh, we'll take Kane Kessler off and put Lowndes on. So, hopefully now we can see the game out. We'll give a bit of praise to the players. And hopefully that will be exactly what we need to see the game out for us. And, oh no, still a chance now. Lowndes now. Hardy. Gets tackled. Balls play forward. And Hewlett now. Coming forward for Starbridge. Can't win the ball back. We can't. Brunt to Undy. And Joy suits just wide. At the uh, near post. That wasn't to be for Starbridge. And we get another bit of praise done. And that should see everything out for us. Nice calm. Hardy's picked up a knot though. Which is a disappointing. Hall now. As a go. And it makes it free. Connor Hall. It's bruised ribs. So it's not the end of the world for uh, for Hardy. But 3-0 up now. If I could take him off I would. Just as a precaution. Can I do that? Is there a way I can take him off? Can nobody? Because I know you can just turn to stay off when you get the uh, little things up here, but apparently not now. 
A uh, bit of Lyndon Foster plays it forward, but Dunkley with the ball. Plays it down the line. But Scott's on it now for Starbridge as he comes forward. We've got players back defending, which is good. And uh, they play it back. Brunt on it. Back to Scott. Back to Brunt again. Not really pressing. We want them to say, come and break us down. And hopefully they'll give the ball away and we can uh, start a counter-attack. As Scott with the header, but straight at Holloway, me. And that should be the end of that highlight. And hopefully, that's it, which it is. It's Starbridge nil, Hale's own town free. And we start off, the well, you guys see in the season, with a 3-0 victory over the bitter rival Starbridge. And, yeah, we can't grumble like that, can we? Very good performance, very happy. Uh, just to let you know as well, we are the favourites for the league. I'll show you the season preview, so hopefully it's still there. Yeah, we're still the favourites for promotion. Uh, us and rugby are, apparently. And rugby came up with us as well, I think. Yeah, that's quite a surprising one. But they're favourites. But yeah, it's all very, very good so far, which obviously I'm, I'm quite happy about. So fingers crossed that can continue. And yeah, what, where does that put us in the league? We get, So we're eighth. We're eighth in the league. So uh, one win. Hopefully we can get a couple more wins going forward and we'll be hopefully firmly in the at least the playoffs. So yeah, when the next game we're going to be back for... Uh, usually I come back for all these FA trophies and FA Cups, but I think because we've spent a lot of time watching them over the last few seasons, we're just going to try and come back for the first rounds of them. Or unless I get a, like a, a, a massive club, which could be quite a difficult tie for us, but I think that's what we're going to try and do. Uh, so... I'll come back for the... Uh, will be another derby. We'll come back for the AFC Telford game. So that's a good chunk of the season. Oh, I say good chunk, but that should put us into October, which will obviously be a good chunk of the season. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Do hope you enjoy it. Uh, please put a comment in there if you've got any predictions of where we're going to be come the end of the season. Uh, what you think of my transfers as well. Which player are you looking forward to seeing? And, uh, yeah. Yeah. If you've got any questions that you want answering, please feel free to ask. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Please like, uh, drop a like on the video as well, and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye.